what's up guys shamar aka value here and today i'm gonna show you guys how i remade the beat for myself by now so let's get into it all right so first we have this bell sound right here i think this was the love triangle bells in omnisphere pretty much all my sounds that i use for this beat like out of the vst were omnisphere they're all omnisphere sounds so here's the first sound that it's not it's a pretty simple pattern you can see it's just one two three four just four sounds it plays like at the start of each beat i think they're called i don't really know and i added this little sound because i noticed like there's like a little bit of a higher tone at the start of the melody so i just added that but at a low velocity you can see so second sound we got is this upwards three note sound so here's what it sounds like that it's pretty simple it just starts I don't it might start at the I actually don't know how it works like I just did it by ear so you know but it all goes right there it sounds pretty good and then there's a second one of the same preset I forget what preset that is I think it's VS bells in Omnisphere and then here's the same preset but it's an octave lower just playing some bass notes to like make it sound more full so here's what it goes like A lot, it's just like a repeated bass note right here, and then a top melody right there, there, there. So, those are the three like main bell sounds. Then we got two pads pad number one right here. So, just a that's a minor chord, I'm pretty sure, right. And then this is like a seventh minor chord. And then, I don't know, I took the bass note down right here because I noticed that in the song. But yeah, fits right there. And then it just plays over again. And then this one is just playing, it's another pad right here, playing the same notes, but with a little top melody included. So here's what this one sounds like. So yeah, it's like a sign pad and it like really vibey, you know? So here's what the full intro sounds like. So there's that. Now we're gonna get into the first chorus. Yeah, so basically we just took this right here and we played it played the top notes from that, brought them into its own pattern and then reversed it, exported it and reversed it and then we got this right here. And then for the drums, there's this bass right here. There's a bass, a hi-hat, and snares. So the bass plays this melody right here. All right. And then we got this hi hat, snare, and yeah, there's two snares. This is the first one, second one. So this one just plays on the two and four, and this one just plays in the notes in between, like, you know. And the hi-hat plays like a quick, a wicked, quick roll right here. So here's what the drums sound like. Then it cuts out right there. Starts up again with, this time, it's gonna be a kick. Here's what the kick sounds like. So 
there's a kick and then bring in all the drums there's also some open hats that start up right here it just plays this little pattern so it just does that over and over again so here's what the chorus sounds like right here first part you take these which is just the three main bell sounds from the intro I think except this part so it's just these two right you take that reverse it and like you just export it and reverse it and it sounds like this and that part plays by itself over here but for the beginning of the verse it has a um, growth speed effect, like a half beat gate, whatever it's called. So it plays right here. With the drums, the bass and everything, same thing from over here. And then for this part, you just bring unreverse it and bring in the regular bells and stuff. And this is what it sounds like. right there and then you reverse this again play without the gross beat and just the bass i'm pretty sure and it goes like this so basically the same thing and then it repeats over the chorus repeats over the beginning of the verse same thing only thing that's different is for the end of the verse part before the what's this called post verse whatever it's not really a pre-chorus but basically instead of just cutting out the bells fade out and this is what it sounds like not fade out but it's like a tape stop effect and then repeat repeat the chorus right here so then after the chorus finishes obviously we go into the outro where everything over here is pitched down to semitones basically all i did was reverse the drums and it's not really on the grid because the tempo changed it drops from 80 bpm to a 70 so there's reverse drums pitch down everything over here but it's pretty much the same thing and slower tempo so here's what it sounds like like a quick stutter at the end of like each beat i'm pretty sure it's what it called so here's what that sounds like basically that's that so here's what the full beat sounds like but before we get into that if you guys like this video consider subscribing liking i got more beats like type beats on my channel so if y'all want to check those out i do hella type beats and if y'all have another song like y'all want me to try remaking or something just drop it in the comments and i might try to get to it but you know this is my first remake i'm not really that good at that so i'll try it out but yeah thanks for watching this and here's the full myself remake